ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Buffalo Sports Center video. I am Don, and today we're going to finally talk about the Buffalo Bills. Yeah, it's been uh, over a week now since the Bills got knocked out of the divisional round by the Cincinnati Bengals, and what that loss told all of us is that the Bills need a little bit of a retool. Not even a real retool. They just need to revamp a couple of things because I think certain parts of this team have gotten a bit stale. And Brandon Bean, GM, he's got some serious work cut out for him because the Bills will be working against pretty tight cap space, so it's going to be tough to really do too much. But I think everything on this list here for the Bills to do this offseason, it's within reach. So today we're going to talk about the Bills' top offseason priorities. And before I get to that, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Let's start off now with firing Leslie Frazier. Look, he's been a longtime member of this current Bills coaching staff. McDermott brought him in as his right-hand man all the way back in 2017. He's been with the Bills for over five years now. But I think his mes message has gotten stale among that defensive group. Against the Bengals, they looked lost. Some of the defensive scheming was terrible. The soft zone coverage, really? We tried that against Tom Brady back in 2018 and 2019, and look where that got us. Nowhere. He has not been able to develop the guys on the defensive line, guys like A.J. Epinesa and Boogie Basham, quite to the degree that Bills fans wanted to. Although I will say A.J. Epinesa really did improve this season. He got six and a half sacks, which is good. Greg Rousseau also got, I think he got eight sacks as well. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Eight, seven or eight. But Boogie Basham was not good. Jordan Phillips looked bad. Shaq Phillips was not good. All of these guys just not the greatest. And then, like we said, there's that one picture of the Bills, third and four. They're trying to end a big Bengals drive. And what does Leslie Frazier call? He calls a very soft prevent defense on third down in the red zone. Just what? He sends out seven guys on the line of scrimmage, but has his guys, his secondary, 10 yards in coverage already. 10 yards of cushion. That's an easy first down that Burrow threw to Jamar Chase seconds later. And just stuff like that, and also blowing it last year against the Kansas City Chiefs in that other divisional round game. It's just, it's things like this where you look at the biggest moments for this defense over the last four years, and all of them have come down to coaching staff miscues. Just not good game plans at all. Leslie Frazier has not been able to game plan. He does not make adjustments. He needs to go. And, you know, I usually don't want to call for guys to be fired because this is their livelihoods. And you got to look at them as humans. Yeah, he failed, but he did a bad job, and his job is to put out a good defense and win football games. And the Bills have not done that in the biggest of moments. And because of that, I think the Bills really need to look elsewhere for their defensive coordinator for next season. So, moving on now, the Bills definitely have to revamp their offensive line. Roger Saffield, the veteran brought in from Tennessee, he was terrible this season. Let's, let's not sugarcoat it. He was very bad. Um, on the other side of the line, Spencer Brown, we all thought he was going to be good again. He took a massive step back. A massive step back. He was probably the worst offensive lineman for the Bills this season. Even worse than Roger Saffold, and that is saying a lot. Both of those guys had sub-50 grades on PFF, which is well below average. The average is about 60, so you don't want to be south of 50. That's, that's very bad for them. Even Deion Dawkins, he had a lot of penalty trouble this season, and Josh Allen was absolutely abused. He got sacked seven times against that Miami Dolphins bad defense. Let's 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 face it, Miami had a bad defense this year, and yet Allen was on the ground more times than not against Cincinnati. He had very little time to do anything, and this offensive line is not good at run blocking either. Everyone talks about how we want to involve the run game more. Well. You can't really do that when the guy's blocking and creating holes for you. Can't. So this offensive line seriously needs a retool, and maybe the Bills, they really need to invest it in the draft. But 
they also got to do a couple other things, such as find Jordan Poyer's replacement. I'm very skeptical that longtime Bill's safety, Jordan Poyer, is going to be back for next season. He's a big part of this team, and even when hobbling, he's still so good back there. And I know he changed his Twitter bio pic, his little profile banner, to the image of Michael Jordan in that last dance season with the Chicago Bulls. Maybe he comes back on a cheap one-year deal to try to finally get that Super Bowl for Buffalo, but... Outside of that, the Bills seriously need to be looking at his future replacement. Because even with DeMar Hamlin's awesome progress, we still don't know if he's ever going to hit a football field again. And the Bills have already committed to tra- to moving and transitioning Christian Benford, rookie cornerback from last season, to safety. So they're obviously keeping an eye on that position. It's just something to look at as we keep on going here. But the Bills, they got one more big, big offseason priority, and that's, of course, to get an actual wide receiver number two behind Stephon Diggs because too many times this season it was the Allen to Diggs show, and once defenses started to figure out how to take away Stephon Diggs for, uh, from being a big part of this offense, Gabe Davis didn't really come alive. He does not get separation. He drops a lot of catches, easy catches, I may add. So the Bills, seriously, whether that be in the draft in the first or second round or find a solid, another speedy guy in the free agency, though this year's free agent class for wide receivers is not looking very good, they got to find a way to revamp and just upgrade at the second wide receiver position because right now it is not good enough. And, you know, the outsider may say, well, Gabe Davis, he had over 800 reception yards. Yeah, well, he was wildly inconsistent. He disappeared in the big moments this year, except for that wild card game against Miami. He did turn up there, but I digress because he just he wasn't good this year. So you just saw my top offseason priorities for the Buffalo Bills. And, you know, you may be asking, why haven't I mentioned offensive coordinator Ken Dorsey? Well, it's mainly because it sounded... Brandon Bean, during his end-of-season press conference, very much alluded to Dorsey returning next season, so I don't think the Bills will be making a change there. But anyways, thank you so much, folks, for watching. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe before leaving. I was Don. This is Buffalo Sports Center. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.